Coach Crabtree, uh, first things first, congratulations. Uh, maybe eight district qualifiers, maybe seven, I don't know. How many did Perkins get out? We got out nine. Uh, nine? Nine, a couple okay. of kids we didn't expect. Uh, fought through the Contes and made it out. So that's what made the number a little tricky. So we got uh, nine out and uh, it was a good day. What would you have done if it would have been double digits? You really would have been confused, right? Oh, uh, definitely. You know? <laughs> but it's all fun, you know. We just, as coaches, you just go from mat to mat and, uh, you know, coach them up and then add them up at the end. All right, so I talked to Scott Detroit last week. He's no Carver Rocket. You've been all around, by the way, but. Forever, you're rivals with the St. Mary's guys. Now you work with the OAC. It's like this crazy relationship, but it's a good relationship. Would you agree? Absolutely. Uh, when I first started coaching back in 2000, and Jude was the head coach of St. Mary's, we were bitter enemies. And uh, as time went on, they started getting bigger and bigger with the OAC. And Jared and uh, Jude approached me about my wrestling knowledge and going around and helping them out. And so I've slowly got involved with them. And it's been a good relationship. It's actually helped us uh, personally and wrestling-wise. And we're trying to promote the sport and make the uh, sport stronger. Uh, and, and there's no question this is the toughest, you know, great grade school series, state series, and junior high in the state. I mean, I'm sure you wouldn't question that you would probably agree, but what do you want your kids at wrestling this to get out of it? You know, you're a head high school coach. What do you want your junior high kids to get out of it? Your sons have wrestled in it. What do you want them to get out of it? Uh, you know, my son wrestled in it uh, probably about seven years ago and was able to qualify to the state. It was a great experience for him and as a father to travel around and uh, meet different kids, uh, different coaches. And it's great for our kids in our program to venture out, wrestle kids from all four, four corners of the state. And also, um, it, you know, it's fun, it's a good experience. Bonding time, father and son. Um, you know, like I always did with my son, we had stopped at the biggest gas station on the way home. Get whatever you want, win or lose. <laughs> So you're having fun with it? Absolutely. Uh, when you look at mixing coaching with helping run tournaments, would you rather work with any other organization than OAC? No, OAC is a great organization. They keep getting better and better. They keep taking suggestions on uh, how to improve it. Um, you know, they really listen when people actually send stuff in, or if I take something back to them, or another representative who's at these other tournaments. And Jude's trying to send us out to different tournaments to see how everybody's doing it differently and see if we can come up with one solution where everything works the same. So you're from a different corner of the state. You're not from like Northwest Ohio, right? You're from, I'm from, from 922, right? 922, team 922, baby. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yorksville, Ohio. So you saw Cody Garbrandt grow up, right? Yep, Cody was a little guy in our bitty program uh, back in the day and uh, it's come a long way. It's a little different though, I guess. The Claymont culture is way different than Sandusky, Perkins, St. Mary, Sandusky High culture, SBC culture. How, how would you compare the two areas in wrestling? Oh, uh, good question. In your there's not much to do. And so to keep them out of trouble, keep them on a, uh, you know, a good way of life, they have the wrestling program and there's always people in the room pushing them. And people always give back who came through the program, alumni, stick around and they help. They want to make the program better. Uh, they got uh, two different clubs. Uh, the Warners just started another elite training club down in that area. We got Team 922. Um, everybody has their own uh, youth program also. So there's plenty of opportunity to wrestle and they're trying to gobble up all the kids before they find that other sport with the round ball. i tell you what, I've never thought I'd stump you with a question or have. I'm very proud of myself right now. If you always got something to say, I like it though, but uh, very different cultures. There's a lot to do in Sandusky, Ohio. Well, with Cedar Point, Lake Erie, you know, we don't have that down in Tuscarawas County. It's uh, hard work, discipline, and, uh, you know, kids can either go the right way or the wrong way, just like anywhere else, but, you know, down there, they don't have all that extra activity to do, so we try to keep them straight and narrow with wrestling and teach them how to get back to the programs. Uh, do you teach at Perkins High School? Yes, I teach health and phys ed. Do you know the principal? At Perkins High School, the 1998 Oak Harbor High School grad. Unfortunately, yes, I know Jeff Harbo is. One of my best friends. Yes, I'm sorry for that. I, I feel really bad, but he, I'm sure he's doing a good job there, right? Excellent job, excellent job. Keeping us, he's, you know, very level-headed, and he's all for the staff. Why you got to give so complimentary? All right, man, you got anything else for me? Nope, just, uh, you know, you got to compliment yourself for a great job you do. I don't think you take enough credit for what you do to promote the sport of wrestling. So right. thank you. I appreciate that. Hey, good luck the rest of the day. Calm and angry parents down and doing crowd control, right? I got it, baby. <laughs>